Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my bookshelf tour. <laughs> I have a lot of books. Uh, last I counted, which was the ending of last year, I was at a thousand twenty-four books. Okay, so this is going to be my bookshelf tour. I, considering how many books I have, I will not be pulling out any, like, any books. We're, I'm just going to, like, cut, like, go over them, and maybe I'll give a little information here and there, but it's going to be a long video either way, and if people are interested in just seeing my manga, which, not a lot, I'll put a timestamp right here so you can skip to just the manga. Okay, so how I'm gonna do with the bookshelf is up here I'm gonna start from going over there and then I'm gonna start with this, go down, and with this, go down, and with that, go down. Okay, so this is the very top of my bookshelves. Ignore the mess, but as you can see, I have bubble wrap for packaging for whenever I send off, you know, packages with books in them and pens or whatever. Then we have then we have Aelin from Throne of Glass. The plushie from Fairy Loop. Very great one of them. I don't know, I always get them mixed up. Then obviously we have pens. Which is double sided. And over here to the side we have uh, these chopsticks that my friend bought for me in Japan. I only use one of them. So, these are still in perfect condition. <laughs> Thankfully, since I've decided, you know, not to pull out these books, I do not have to pull out any of these. Uh, I, I know you can see at the bottom that there's, like, cards, but I'm not taking anything else off. Okay, let's get a closer look. I should quickly say I do have these Briar Horses up here that I've owned for so long now and I have some gems up there as well so what we have here is the ultimate guide to I think it's called the clans I don't know I can't really see it from my point of view then we got battle of the clans cats of the clans code of the clans secrets of the clans all by I mean all on this shelf is pretty much by Aaron Hunter which is a whole bunch of people I know the, f this, the first series started off with three, but I think they're up to six authors now. And then we have, I think, The Warrior's Guide. And up here, we have The Untold Stories, Firestar's Quest, Moth Flight's Vision, Hawkwing's Journey, Blue Stars... Ah, uh, crap, I can't see. Blue Stars, what does it say on the camera? I can't... Promise? Yeah. And then Cricket Star's Promise, which takes place during the same events, just from two different perspectives. Sky Clan's Destiny, Bramble, Bramble, what is it? Bramble Star, <laughs> Bramble Star something. These are super editions, and then that one up there, uh, the Untold Stories, is like uh, three novellas yeah, in one book. So starting up here, we have the first book, Into the Wild, Fire and Star, Forest of Secrets, Rising Storms, and then it goes down here, where it is a dangerous path, I think, in the darkest hour. And then we go into the next series, which is Midnight, Moonrise, Dawn something. Dawn, I can't... Oh, just Dawn. Starlight, Twilight, Sunset. And then we go <laughs> to the next series, which starts up here. So I'm trying to get these in hardbacks. We got The Sight, Dark River, Outcast, Eclipse. And pan back down again. Ooh, uh, Long Shadows. Sunrise. And that's the last book of that series. The Fourth Apprentice, which is over there. Um, Finding Echoes? Sorry, it's really hard. Like, I, 
I can't. I'm like standing on my tiptoes. Night Whispers. We got Sign of the Moon, The Prophecy. Oops. The Prophecy something. No, The Forgotten Prophecy. The Last Hope. And then to the next series, I don't own the first one. But we got the second book, which is Thunder Rising. The first... As I said, I have junk up here. The first battle. The Blazing Star. Uh, forest Divide. More junk. Some soaps <laughs> from book boxes. As I said, junk. So next series is The Apprentice Quest, Thunder and Shadow, and I think that says Shatter Skies. And then we got, wow, my neck is hurting. Sorry, junk. And candy. We got, um, The Quest Begins, Great Bear Lake, Smoke Mountain, The Last, Will, The Last, Will, Wilderness? Fire in the Sky and Spirits in the Stars. All by Aaron Hunter once more. Morning, I'm going to be lifting my camera up so you can peer down. I'm lifting the tripod up. So we got all these comics. As I said, there's junk. I'm not going to name those all. And this thing right here holds like my ponytails. Well, my hair ties. So we got Wildborn, Hunted, Fire and Ice, Against the Tide, Rise and Fall, The Evertree, Fall, The Beasts, Immortal Creatures, and then Tales of the Great Beasts. These are all by different authors. Marie Lou's one of them. I've only read the first book. <laughs> I had collected them when I was in high school, but I never continued with them. They're pretty books. I want to continue reading with them. I can one day. So here is the first shelf. It's all my, not all, because my Christmas city sadly cannot fit on this shelf. And when a uh, court of frost and, and when a court of fire and starlight or whatever, what is it called? A court of silver flames, I think. Yeah. When that comes out, I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess I'll probably take out my collectors uh, and just put it over here. Anyway, so yeah, this is the shelf. I'm going to take this all out. Uh, I may, I won't show you the bins because that's going to go into my pin collection tour, but I'll probably show you some, like, my coffee mugs and my candles. First up, we have these cute little bookmarks that I got from... I think Happy Hello Happy? Yeah, from uh, Happy Hello. That they represent each of the covers. This one. Got that one. And then finally that one. In that cup, we have. I got this from a book subscription box. Of, oh, not upside down. Of the dresser drawers that Aelin, not Aelin, that Farah painted from her sisters. And then behind them is illustrations of the three of the siblings. I think they're, yeah, they're siblings. Then we have a coffee mug. I don't know where I got this from. Uh, I forgot what store I bought it from. Oh, there, Society. No, I got it off of Society 6. And then, oh, oops, Catwoman. <laughs> it's in here. She's supposed to be chilling up there. Is there anything else in there? Oh, I'm just backing stuff. Then we have Fake Crates thing. Pen thing for. What? Oh, I think this came. This is came, this came with Feyre, the plushie. Or no. Reese? I don't know. I think I have both. No, I have Reese, which he disappeared. 
And I have Jude, their plushie, but she also disappeared, so I don't know where the hell they're at. Then we got this candle, which smells amazing. And these other two. The three of them came from uh, another book box. Uh, the bookish box thing for their alternate covers of Accord and Thorns and Roses. So, yeah. Uh, this came in the first box. Wait, no, this came in the Court of Thorns and Roses box. The three candles came in the alternate covers for Thorn Glass. We got the bracelet from the Thorn Glass book box. Dorian. And this is from Lit Joy Crate, I think. I don't know what box that came from, but same. this is from the Akatara box, I think, I don't know. Uh, I love you, thorns and all, it's a burnt wooden bookmark. And then these tarot cards from the bookish box, but I never got the last pack package because they never uh, sold it again. My main, uh, ma major, fuck, what's it called? Major Arcane, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, is it completed? And I have some, like, pin backing things, and these pins that I got from, like, the Queen of Shadows uh, pre order campaign. From, this is from the same shop as well, and I got off of Society6. I really I forgot who created these. <laughs> so here we have Reese and Feyre. This is from the Bear Co. something. I don't know, she changed her username, and now she doesn't create these. She's creating something else now. This was also from the bookish box. On the thing that it came on, it was saying that it was number one of something. So I think they were planning on continuing like something like this in the other TOG books, alternate cover thing, boxes, but uh, it was only this one, so I don't know. I like it, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, it's unnecessary. So, yeah. Got Manon. These are from Fairy Loot. I did not get them in the description box, I just bought them separately, so it's Emperor. Mm -hmm. Empress. Sherry. Justice. Judgment. Strength. And three of cups. I wanted to get all the. Well, I don't know. I wonder if they're ever gonna do like a huge like set where you could just buy all of them. I don't know. Then we got a pillowcase that I got from Owl Crate. Okay, so the books. First up, we have Court of Thorns Roses, Court of Fury, Court of Wings and Ruin, A Court of Frost and Starlight, then Throne of Glass, I'm not Throne of Glass, then The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, Kingdom of Ash. I do have uh, some of these signed, mostly per personalized, like I think I have here to here, personalized. This is signed, but Actually, no, this may be personalized as well. Sadly, these aren't signed. Um, a Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Miss Fury are personalized, I'm pretty sure, as well. And then, obviously, we have the Collector's Edition of Throne of Glass. And over here, we have the UK editions of the series. Which, I wish this was also white and this one was white as well, but you know what? I, I guess it's fine. Above, we have a Kingdom of Ash. This is the Barnes and no Noble exclusive, I'm pretty sure. So I put the the cover art that's on the back of the cover, flipped around, and obviously put it there so you can see her beautiful face. And then we have Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Moss. Okay, so here we have my other shelf, which. So more pins and stuff on it. I will skew it off the pins and I'll show you basically the only thing I really need to show you is like a bookmark and 
one thing. First up I have to show is, I think his name is Nick, and, well, I'm forgetting her name. From, well, he's from the Raven and, well, the Shadow and Bone series, trilogy, and she's from the Six of Crows duology, and they're both in King of Scars, I'm pretty sure, I think. And lastly, we have this Fae Crate pendant, which is, shows the back of the Cruel Prince insignia, which my Jude came with this. Okay, so first up, we have, well, I'm going to start here. We have, okay, oh god, it's, it's packed. Hold on, let me tilt that up some more. We have the coldest in her bones. And then we have how to write science fiction and fantasy. My uncle bought that for me. The Language of Thorns, Shadow and Bone, and King of Scars, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, which, you know, this is by Lee Bardugo. Then we have my Sarah J. Moss books. The tour edition of Crescent City House of Earth and Blood. My Barnes & Noble signed edition and my personalized signed edition. So, got the UK editions of Nevernight and God's Grave. I got them, I think, through Illumicrate, I think. Because they were... Was it Illumicrate? I don't know. It's a it's a British-based book, uh, book box that they were selling like you could pre-order these two together and me knowing how much they will cost if i don't get like these two books from you know or whatever whoever it was i knew it's going to be expensive i think these are signed i mean hold on first like look at this cover so stunning yeah they are signed the save these oh yeah i'm I'm gonna show you the other one. Oh, look at it. Now I just need to get Dark Dawn and UK covers. I'm just gonna like buy it off a of book depository and I I won't risk like spraying it myself, so I'll probably I know there's someone that does spray books. But I'm forgetting what their username is. Okay, so we got the regular editions of the like the US editions, Nevernight, God's Grave, Dark Dawn. These two are both signed. This is signed because it's like a first edition. This is signed. I mean it's also first edition, but I got it from oh, and I wonder if it'll say. Wait, as you see there's fan art on it. Does it say back here? Okay. No. I think it was like my first time buying from them and it took forever because Doc Dawn like came out in September, it wasn't last year, it was a year before that, but we, uh, the people who like, bought this didn't get it till like close to November, I don't know why, anyway, so we have the Cruel Prince, the regular edition, and then the Barnes and Noble editions of the trilogy. None are signed. Then we got the Alcrates editions of the Cruel Prince and Queen, the Queen of Nothing. I found this at a, as, well, technically, they didn't classify it as used. I'm gonna go on a small tangent. <laughs> so, uh, there's this place called V-Stock that I live, like, an hour away from, and they were selling this. But see, the, the thing is, they were selling it full price as if it was new. And I even confronted them about it, and I'm like, there's no way this could be new, because it comes from a book subscription box, and that edition's only from that book subscri subscription box. It doesn't sell on retail. And they're like, well, on the computer, it says it's new. And I'm like, bitch. Anyway, but considering that this baby, like, sells for a hundred something, I, you know, I just sucked it up, bought it for $19. <laughs> and then I did... Get access to buying this early because I was on their subs no I bought one of their their that monthly subscription so I could have early access to this and I just one day I'll try to find the Wicked King don't know I'm not gonna spend a shit ton on it but I'll find the Wicked King in the Alcrate edition speaking about Alcrate I bought the Alcrate edition of King of Elfim, 
Oh no, how the king of Elfim learned to the to learned to hate stories. I mean, I sort of like the teal cover, but I prefer I think it's fairy loot's uh, purple cover. And we got the darkest part of the forest and legacy of kings. I first bought this and I was super excited when I learned that this was like they were connected and I'm like I wonder if any if like anyone from here will be in like the last book but that didn't happen. Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. One of the main reasons besides like how it, people were hyping it up on booktube was like her last name is Herman. That's one of the reasons why I got it is because well my mom's last name is Herman. Sure about that. Then we have Ice Like Fire and Snow Like Ashes, book one and two. I've only read the first one, never got around to reading the second. So next shelf is, I mean, like my other shelves, it's fancy. Hold on. So obviously, got pins. Have a Snow, Jon Snow figure, uh, Jon Snow, Funko. Not gonna bother showing. So let me move these uh, pens aside. Sorry, I didn't want to be in the sunlight, so I just uh, tilt this. Oops. So I just tilt this over right now. So here we have Jon Snow. Then we have art. I I don't think this is from Carvel. I don't remember this uh, dress's description. So I think it's from the Night Circus. <laughs> And I have these like uh, rings and some earrings. Okay, so first up we have. I'm gonna do these. We have Divided Eden, Dividing Eden, and Eden Conquered. I have not read that duology yet, but I'm excited to read it. <laughs> then we have Moon Chosen by PC Cast. I don't I think it's a trilogy, I don't know. I've owned it for a while, I just never got around to reading it. Then we have this dinosaur trilogy. I've only heard it once spoken on YouTube and it made me want to buy it. So I bought the whole entire trilogy off of a book outlet a few years ago. So we got the Dinosaur Lords, the Dinosaur Knights, the Dinosaur Princess. And basically they like ride on dinosaurs. <laughs> then we got the Star Touch Queen and a Crown of Wishes. I don't know if there's another spin-off, but I have read this one, I have not read this one yet, but they are connected. Then we have The Traitor's Kiss and The Traitor's Ruin, I have not read these yet. Girls Made of Snow and Glass, this is a retelling of Snow White and her stepmother, and I really enjoyed this. I mean. I wouldn't say I really enjoyed it, but I did like it a lot, and I think it's a nice, like, retelling. We got The Night Circus, I have not read yet, but one of these days. Then we have the trilogy of Carval. I read these two, have not read this yet. I need to get on it, though. And Daughter of the Burning City, Ace of Shades. Really like this book, I need to get the second one. Stalking Jack the Ripper, in Hunting Prince Dracula, Strange the Dreamer, Days of Blood and Starlight, Dreams of God and Monsters. Then up here we have the Glittering Court, Midnight Jewel, and the Emerald Sea. This is all together a trilogy and it takes place during the same time. It's just each are different point of views of the three girls. I've only read the Glittering Court but I never got to these two yet. Then we have Night of Cake and Puppets, which is like a um, novella that takes place in Lainey Taylor's other world. So this shelf is where my desert setting novels are. I will move these pins over. So we have a, a tin can. I don't know what subscription box I got this from. And a candle, which smells freaking good. You should know that I don't burn any of my book candles, sadly. Because, I don't know, I don't want them to not exist on my shelves anymore. A bookmark. This 
some character cards that came from pre-orders. I think this was Flame, uh, We Hunt the Flame, and this one is, where's, oh, a tiger, the tiger at midnight. Then we got, uh, an art print. I don't know where this is from, but this came from Bay Crate. So first up, we have a girl, a girl serpent and thorn. I do really love this paint cover. It's signed because it came from a book subscription box. Which box did it come from? Oh, I'm assuming probably Fairy Loot or Fake Crate. Got the City of Brass. Haven't read yet, but excited to read it soon. I'm, I'm wanting to read it this year. Got We Hunt the Flame. I started reading it, but I didn't... How far did I get? Oh, I think I was probably... I'm probably listening to the audiobook. I don't know how far I got into it. Got the... Got Tiger Queen. The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. One of my favorite duologies. A Thousand Nights. Spindle, A Whole New World, which is a retelling of Aladdin. Rebel of the Sands, Traitor to the Throne, and Hero at the Fall. This is a trilogy. Sadly, like this cover is stunning. But sadly, they never continued with this like type of cover. And I mean, I really do like these covers. It just sucks that they never released a hard cover of this in this style. And then up here we have the, I think they're indie books. I don't think they're from a publishing company. I mean, I know it shows something right here. I don't know. We got The Huntress Queen, The Fire Queen, The Rogue, Rogue Queen, and The Warrior Queen. I've read these two books. I'm, I had started reading this, but I never continued with it yet. They're stunning covers though. And then obviously the last book. And I'm gonna quickly show these up here as well. We got The Girl of Fire and Thorns, The Crown of Embers, and The Bitter Kingdom. I read all of them, so. And I think she's continuing with them, I'm pretty sure. So down here we have Catching Stars and Stealing Thunder, which this is a LGBTQ plus novel. I got this from Bay Crate expecting to have a bit more spice because from what they said because like they show like flames like they rate the books with flames of how like spicy it is and i think they gave this like a three star or a three flamed rating but it wasn't that spicy at all <laughs> so yeah this is lgbtq plus read uh the main character is uh she is trans I did like this though. Ignore that sticker. I just had that sticker on my bookshelves for a long time because my Warrior Cat books used to be here. Okay, so we have Rain the Earth. Really like this cover. I think it's a pretty cover. The Candle and the Flame. The Library of Fates. Amber and Dusk. This is the Alcrate edition, so it is signed. The Tiger at Midnight. I think this has a book plate. I don't know. I'm not going to get it out. The Forbidden Wish, Forbidden, Banished, and Returned. So this, um, <laughs> this shelf is double stacked. Because I, as I said, I have a lot of books. So I'm going to show these three at the bottom first. Uh, this is going to be at a tilt. So first we have uh, Reawakened. I have read this one. Recreated. Also read this one. And lastly, Reunited, which I haven't read it yet. I should read it this year. This is like my, uh, excluding these two, is my apocalypse type of books, post-apocalyptic. We got Stranger. I think this deals with zombies. Not sure. Undead, which deals with zombies, and I have read. Contaminated deals with zombies. Have not read. Wilder Girls. Um, I know what it's about. I'm just not sure if it 
it doesn't deal with zombies, but I think it is a post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic. I don't know. If you like, I hear that this is sort of like Lord of the Flies type of situation, and there is a disease in this uh, school of like a boarding school of women. We get given to the sea. This is not post-apocalyptic. I don't know why I have it in this pile. But I did meet the- I was planning on like getting rid of it, but in March, when around the time I was going to get rid of it, I did meet the author, so I did put it back into my TBR pile, and I did get it signed. And it is personalized, so it's gonna be hard to, like, if I wanted to sell it, because, I mean, it's underneath my name, the signature. And we got in a handful of dust and not a drop to drink, which I have read, not a drop to drink. I'm... Mm, on if I should read this. Obviously, I met Mindy McGinnis, so these are also signed. H2O. Really like this. I uh, want to read the next books. Savage Dead. My friend gave it to me. I still haven't read it yet. Then Jurassic Park and Black Beauty. So we have Assassin's Heart and Thief's Cunning. Read it, haven't. Fox. Vortex Visions, Isle of the Blood and Stone, The Iron Trial, The Kiss of Deception, The Beauty of Darkness. And then we have all the Morgan Rhodes books. Spirits, uh, A Book of Spirits and Thieves, The Darkest Magic, and there's supposed to be a third book, but it didn't get as enough, as much hype as these did, so she stopped on like writing in the third book, and I don't know if it's ever going to get published. It better get published, because what if I like these and I want to read these? We got Fallen Kingdom, Rebel Springs, Gathering Darkness, Frozen Tides, Crystal of Storm, and Immortal Rain. Then up here we have The Blind Wish, which is a desert setting novel, and Wonder Woman Warbringer. Okay, so it is a little darker back here, but mm, at least you can see it pretty decently. These are the books that are behind the books I just showed you. So first we have The Becoming of Noah Shaw, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, The Unbreakable, The Orphan Queen, The Mirror King, A Million Junes, The Kingdom, Frostblood, and Fireblood. Then we have A Matter of Trust, What Boys Really Want, Invisible, Blank Confessions, Obsidian Blade, Rash, and Hole in the Sky, which is all by um, Huntman. Not, don't know his first name. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Oliver Bray, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, Ink, Rain, and Storm by Amanda Sun. This takes place in Japan. Ironside and Valiant by Holly Black. We got Frostfire, Ice Kiss, and Crystal City by Amanda Hawking. Echo, Mystic, and Faded by Allison Noel. Rebel Heart and Blood Red Road by Something Young. <laughs> then we got Let the Sky Fall. And let the storm break. Then we got Entwined, and finally the Wolf Princess. Then in this corner we got the Christopher Killer, the Angel of Death, the Circle of Blood, and the Dying Breath, which I read this for, I think this was my freshman year English book. And we met the author, and she was like into paranormal stuff. I mean, it does deal with, the series does deal with paranormal. As I said, I've only read the first one, I haven't read the other ones. But she does. She was into paranormal stuff, so I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video about my experiences with authors. Then we got Black Beauty over there. So this is my Cassandra Clare shelf. All the shelf, hundred books. So first up, we have we have a Castiel, but you know, since he has his angel wings, I put him on this shelf. Then we got Ghost, but you know, he's a wolf, so there's werewolves in this. <laughs> series, so I decided to put Ghost up there. They're a little dusty, but we have Isabel and Simon, these playing cards that came from Fairy Loot, and, and I'm sort of thinking about selling them. I don't know, haven't decided yet. Okay, so first up, we have uh, the mangas up top. Hold on, let me pan up. We got mangas up top, we got the first, second, and third volume of the Clockwork, well, the Infernal, the Infernal Devices trilogy, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, and then we have the first volume of the Mortal Instruments, which I'm, I think is like just the first book, like uh, City of Bones. I will also pan up to here. Well, no. Uh, yeah. So 
we got the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones. It is cloth bound. It's so pretty. And we got an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and citizens of Downworld. Also cloth bound. Really pretty. It holds like illustrations of the characters and like facts about them. Then we got the Shadow Hunters Codex, which as it says, it's the Shadow Hunters Codex. Okay, so these are pretty packed in there, so I don't really want to take them out. We got Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. Oh, I will take this one out. We got the hardcover, the Barnes & Noble exclusive of City of Bones. I wish they would have continued doing this with the rest of the books, but they never did. City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. This is the Immortal Instruments, and this is the Infernal Devices to people who do not know about Cassandra Clare. Here we have the Red Scrolls of Magic. I do not own the second one. The Bane Chronicles, which is a bind-up of a whole bunch of Novalias. Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, also a bind-up of a whole bunch of Novalias. Ghosts of the Shadow Market. Once more, bind up with a whole bunch of Novalias. Then we got to the, the, the recent trilogy, Lady of Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. I haven't read this right here, well, including Chain of Gold, but I haven't read, well, I read this. I haven't read these four yet. Um, I'm, I've heard that there's one Novalia in here that takes place after the events of Lady Midnight, like, between here. So I'm gonna try to read the Novalias that take place before Lady Midnight, and then obviously hold off that one Novalia, and then read Lady Midnight, and then finish this, and then go into Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness. And obviously up here we got Chain of Gold, which is, uh, is it a trilogy? Or is it gonna be a series? I don't know. I think it may be a trilogy. <laughs> Then we have, I'll pull it out, we have the UK copy of City of ha uh, Fallen Angels. I found this at V-Stock and I was super surprised to find it there so I bought it in case, I don't know if I ever get a, if I ever, you know, decide to buy the rest of this in the UK copies. And we also have the... Shadow Hunter's Guide, which is like random things about the movie. And hold on. oh, there's Chase. I prefer this Chase more. And then you got some ruins. Looking a little bit dark in that corner, but uh, I, I rely on natural lighting. So, continuing on with my fantasy. Uh, there's nothing on here besides pins, so I'm gonna take these out of the way. It is sort of dark over here, so I may pull all these out. So we got an enchantment. Enchantment of ravens. Sorcery of thorns. Yeah, we got Red Queen, Red Queen again. This is the collector's edition. We got Glass Sword, King's Cage, War Storm, Broken Throne, Ember in the Ashes, Torch Against the Night, and Reaper at the Gates. Up here we have Storm Siren, Siren's Fury, and Siren's Song. And then we have Fury Born and The Woman's War, which I need to get around to reading this. Like, I'm wanting to read it this year. Then up here we have Truth Witch, Wind Witch, and Sight Witch. The Shadows Between Us, Kingdom of the Wicked, The Storm Crow, Iridescent Fury, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, A Dance with Dragons. Okay, here is basically my dragon shelf. It has all my dragon pins and my Funko dragons, which I need to find Drogon on this form, but it's freaking costly on Amazon. Other than that, um, I do have some bookmarks. Dragon bookmarks. Here 
here we have <laughs> dragon. Uh, necklace that says like dragon heart or something like that. Bragel and Viserion. And I do have a gem. And lastly, we have Light Fury and Night Fury's, uh, like a petri dish thing. So, first up, we have up here Scorched and Shattered. Down here, we have Shatter, Shatter the Sky. And then we have Temporary and the Service of the King by Naomi Novik. It contains three books, I think. That oh, doesn't say. Found it at a used bookstore and I decided to get it because well, it deals with dragons. And it's similar to like the, the dinosaur book where they ride them off into like battle and stuff. Got Eldest, Inheritance, and Bersinger. I need, these are all used. I need to find a decently like in good condition hardcover Aragon. Um, the Last Namasara and the Caged Queen. I highly recommend these three. It's the Alchemists of Loom, the Dragons of Nova, and the Rebels of Gold. I'm gonna actually go here the covers. I think they're super pretty. Hold on. And underneath them, it's also just as stunning. I don't know if I introduced it, but Dragons of Nova. And lastly, the Rebels of Gold. And we got Onyx and Ivory. Next up, uh, I will say right right up here, um, sort of out of view, but we have the regular edition of Before She Ignites and Test of the Road. And this is the Owl Crates edition of Before She Ignites, As She Ascends. The Ice Dragon by George R. R. Martin. Creatures of Moonlight. I'm gonna bring this up. Bright Star. Eon, Iona, Talon, Rogue, Soldier, and Legion by Julia Kagawa. And then up here, I mean, there. It's not like. I mean, uh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are dragons, but it's sort of a post-apocalyptic situation where they're more like monsters and people, hunters, hunt them if they try coming inside their border. And I think there's like spiritual creatures that they connect with as well, so it's not like really a dragon novel, but sort of a dragon novel. So this is my... sorry. Romeo. This is my fantasy shelf. I mean, in my fan. It. I mean, yes, it is fantasy, but it's like my Asian-inspired novels. And I don't think. Oh no, I do. I have a few things that aren't enamel related. I got this uh, for the pre-order of Girls of Paper and Fire. And this was also part of that pre-order. So we have this uh, red envelope. I do not know what that says. <laughs> I think like the character cards were in here or something. But there's nothing in there now. I think this came from the girl king. Or either stronger than the bronze dragon. <laughs> Some other pre-order incentives for you. I wish you could buy it about the world. And she would bloom where she was planted and let her roots close around the throats of her enemies. And we have some character cards. Got wolf, broomstick, spirit, and fairy from the circle of shadows. And then we got Eden, Maya, Lady Sune and Emperor Kanujin from Spin the Dawn. Another character card from Empress of the Seasons. It's of the mythical creatures. 
That's from in the book. And lastly, we have these character cards from The Wicked Fox. So first up, we have Stronger Than a Bronze Dragon. The reason why there's a weird splash is because some um, candle wax got onto it. Okay, so we got Storm Dancer, uh, Kinslayer, and, and Singer by Jay Kristoff. This is his first trilogy. I've read the whole entire thing, really liked it. I think that was my first book. That was my first book that I read from him. Then we got The Crown of Feathers. We got the Alcrate edition of Shadow of the Fox by Julia Cagway. And then we have the regular edition up here. But I really wanted to get the Alcrate edition so it would sort of match Soul of the Sword because the third book is purple. So it would be weird to have like a black spine and then two colorful, colorful covers. Then we have, speaking about up here, we have normal edition of Girls of Paper and Fire. I think this is the normal edition. It does have a book plate, yeah. From the, a pre-order incentive. Then we got the Alcrate edition, which is also signed as well. Oh, and it comes with a tattoo. Hold on. Then we have Fairy Loots, Girls of Storm and Shadow. I'm wanting to try to find Girls of Paper and Fire, the Fairy Loot edition, because I really don't care for this tagline that's up there. And as you can see, this doesn't have it, and the first book doesn't have it either for Fairy Loot. They did send another cover because supposedly there was a mix up that this wasn't exactly uh, an exclusive cover, that it became a UK, I don't know. There's the, the email that they sent out was weird. But yeah, I, I do love these spray painted edges and it is signed. Then I met the author to this to this uh, duology, which is Circle of Shadows and Cloak of Night. I finished this. I haven't read this one yet. Then we got Force of a Thousand Lanterns and Kingdom of the Blazy Phoenix, which is by Julie C. Dow. Now up here we have Even the Darkest Stars and For a Muse of Fire. I mean, yes, this is Asian inspired, but it there it also takes place in like in a European type country as well. And it was, I mean, it's a beautiful cover, but it's an alright read. And then I saw that someone from YouTube recommend this, or not recommend, but they bought this these covers, and I thought the covers were really pretty. Got tail of the. The Tale of Shikanoko. Oh, that's what the series is called. It's, uh, but the title is Emperor of the Eight Islands. Autumn Princess Dragon Child. Lord of the Darkwood. And the Tengu's Game of Go. I love the foil that they put on here. So yeah, these are like stunning covers. I really like them. And I got them off of... Where did I get these? I think I got them off of Book Outlet. Then we have... It's a bit dusty. <laughs> we have The Girl King by Mimi Yu. My... Mm. I don't think I pronounced that right at all. And then finally, The Wicked, I mean, Wicked Fox by K. Chow. Cho? I think it's Cho. Yeah. Stunning cover. Can't wait to read the second book. And then we have Seven Deadly Shadows, Flame in the Mist, Smoke in the Sun, Empress of All Seasons, Spend the Dawn. Reflection, Descend of the Crane, A Thousand Beginnings and Endings, and Soundless. I will quickly say, um, I mean, I didn't really get to say the other. Uh, these two, uh, this is a retelling of uh, Snow White. 
and the seven dwarfs, but I mean, there wasn't seven dwarfs, but there is one of them. But this one takes place before Snow White is born, so it's the evil queen. This is not a retelling. This is a very, very, very light retelling of Mulan. Very light. <laughs> Empress of the Seasons, I don't think, is a retelling. This is a retelling of Spin the Dawn. Well, this is a Mulan story. <laughs> like, it's, you know, by Disney, so it is. I mean, it's not canon, but. And then Descent of the Crane, not a retelling, and these aren't retellings either. Okay, so this is the very bottom shelf. Sort of continues with fantasy and then my Twilight books. So we have And I Darken, Bright We Burn, and Now I Rise, all from the trilogy. We have Red Hood, met the author, so it is signed. The Queens of Endeslear, Heartless Seeker, Temptus and Slaughter, The Evil Queen, Curse of Dark and Lonely, Dance of Thieves, Children of Blood and Bone, The Edge of Everything, Finnegan of the Rock, Froy of the Exiles, and Quentin... Char Sharon? Sharon? And lastly, we have all my Twilight books. We got Twilight Volume 1 and Volume 2. We got Twilight Director's Notebook, Short Life of Brie Tanner, Twilight, New Moon, New Moon again, <laughs> Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and finally it's the Twilight Special Anniversary Edition mixed with Life and Death, which is Twilight Reimagined. I do not own Edward's book yet. One of these days. <laughs> Behind all those are these books. Pretty much when books get back here, I mean, they're still sort of... Um, like I plan on reading but at the same time they're it's like limbo like obviously they're out of sight out of mind so I tend to forget about them or what's like behind here and uh, tend to like these books back here usually end up I like, getting rid of so this is like probably the, the last stand this is the area okay so we have the School of Good and Evil, A World Without Princes, and The Last Ever After. I know they, he's this uh, author has continued with the series, but I've only read the first one. So I may get rid of them actually really soon. Thousand Pieces of You, mainly bought it for the cover, but people used to rave about this. Passenger and Wayfarer, Everneath, and Ever True, which is a Poseidon, not Poseidon. Hades and Persephone retelling, so I'm definitely excited to read those. Definitely keeping them. We got Reboot. Super excited to read this. Partials and Fragments. It's a post-apocalyptic book or a dystopian book. I don't know. I, I mean, I may get rid of. I don't know. Then we got Krell. And Altered. Dystopian novels. Riders. I always, like, put this in, like, my maybe get rid of. Cause, like I sort of want to get rid of it but it deals with the four horsemen of death and I'm sort of interested in it I did try to read it and I don't know it wasn't really clicking with me I'm gonna try to read it again Rose Blood, Keeper of the Mist and Winter Song and over here we have I Hunt Killers in Game which is like a serial killer like they're hunting well as it says I Hunt Killers they're hunting serial killers then we got Mistwood and Night Spell, Razin, The Burning Sky, Fire and Flood. I hear that this is sort of like, I don't know, similar to Pokemon, I think. The Testing, Nameless, and The Demon Catchers of M Millen. Then we have this <laughs> Twilight thing. It's just, hold on. It's basically, it's just journals with the covers from the books. And I think it it shares some quotes at the bottom. I found it at V-Stock and I decided, you know, my Twihard self, my past Twihard self, wanted it. Okay, I'm calling it right now. I'm not taking any of these pins off the shelf because there's too many and I'm too lazy. So you're just going to have to look at the pins as well when I'm doing this. Okay, I'm going to start up there. 
So up here we have, uh, well, <laughs> first thing we have Fly By Night Co, which is wanted, expert spellcasters only. Because this is my witchy shelf, if you can't tell by all the pins and books. So we got Summer Salt, The Babysitter's Coven, Strange Grace, Undead Girl Gang, The Hazelwood, The Price Guide to the Occult, All the Greek Saints, and The Voodoo Killings, which is behind all those pins. And then right there we have The Thirteen. And I have this horse thing that my mom bought me. I think she bought it for me. Here, that's just there temporarily. I'm selling that to someone. I actually need to contact them because I totally forgot to get the thing that I needed to get in order to send it to them. <laughs> then I have some candles, a bracelet, and when they sold it to me, they said it was ink. I remember them telling me that this was like uh, ink for a pen. I know it says premium oil. I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, I've never. I've only opened it when I tried writing with it, uh, but I've never actually like used it, so it just sits on my shelf as decoration. Okay, so we have Half Blood, Half Wild, and Half Lost. I'm like 20 or 30 pages away from the ending and I never finished it because I don't know, I just got disinterested in it, but I continue writing the books because during that time of my book life, I, even if I didn't like a book or wasn't so sure about a book, I'd still continue to buy it in case you never know. Maybe I did like it and everyone raved about it. They were like, oh my god, it's so good. So I'm, I'm probably going to retry again with Half Bad. We got The Graces, The Wicked Deep, Labyrinth Lost, How to Hang a Witch, and then the sequel is Haunting of the Deep. This obviously it takes place in Salem Witch Trials, well, not during the Salem Witch Trials, but it takes place during Salem, but it sort of connects with the past of the Salem Witch Trials. And Haunting in the Deep, it still takes place in Salem Witch I mean, it still takes place in Salem, but it also deals with the Titanic as well. So, I did enjoy these two books. Hex Charmed, haven't read them yet. Toil and Trouble. It's a whole bunch of uh, authors writing like short stories and it's combined in this book. We got The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, The Awakening of Sunshine Girl, and The Sacrifice of Sunshine Girl. Uh, I, th I did watch her mini series for a bit because I like found footage things and sadly there's not a lot of found footage movies. And then we have The Raven Boys Cycle, which is The Raven Boys. Well, it's called the Raven Cycle. <laughs> the Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King. I read the whole entire series last year. So the only thing knickknacks I have besides these two pins is these bookmarks from the series. The characters are from the series. Not gonna do close-ups. <laughs> And then there's a map under here, but I think it's uh, the map is to the world of Grace and Fury, which is over here. So up here we have Reign of the Fallen, the Bone Witch, and then the Heart Forager. Then we got Beyond a Darkened Shore, and the Alcrate in the regular edition of Sky in the Deep. Down here we have Grace and Fury, Queen of Ruin, Ash Princess, Lady Smoke, Three Dark Crowns, One Dark Throne, Four Dead Queens, Roar, Heart of Thorns, The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss, The Young Elites, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star. This is my, like, sea shelf, where there's mermaids, pirates, and anything that relates to the sea. The knickknack we have on here is Percy Jackson. And some pins. Then we have this thing that says, The more people I meet, the more I like my cat. My mom bought me that too. <laughs> then we have the Maiden Ship, which is Fairy Loots Edition. The gold edges. So it is signed. That's not signed, it has a butt plate. Then we have the Beholder. And this is Emily Winslow. 
The Tales of Emily Winsnap. I got this when I was in like, I think seventh grade. It has the, the books inside here. The first two books, that is. Then we got Fathomless and The Siren. Here we have Smoke, Ship of Smoke and Seal. This may be fake crates, I think. Edition. Seafire. These Rebel Waves. Daughter of the Pirate King. Daughter of the Siren Queen. Sea Witch. To Kill a Kingdom. Forbidden Sea. Of Triton. Of Neptune. Tempest Rising. Tempest Unleashed. Just for Fins. Forgive My Fins. Deep Blue. Rogue Wave, Dark Tide, and lastly, Sea Spell. Up here we have Jane Unlimited, Water, uh, Teardrop, and Waterfall. Then we got the uh, Owl Crate of the Bone Houses. Then we got Alice in Wonderland, and Alice in Wonderland again. Got the Novice, the Inquisitation, I can't fucking read right now. The Battle Mage. Blood Rose Rebellion, A Fire and Stars, Wicked Like Wildfire, Spindle Fire, sh A Darker Shade of Magic. This is uh, just a collector's edition. I don't think it's the Barnes & Noble one. Bright Smoke, Cold Fire, Furthermore, Splintered, Unhinged, Ensnared. And another Alice in Wonderland retelling, which is Queen of Hearts, Blood of Wonderland, and War of cards of the cards i am gonna hold this one because my tripod doesn't go this far down so over here we have invictus first life and lifeblood and we got Dor dorothy must die the wicked will rise and dorothy must die stories then we got in unkindness of magicians devils and thieves the book jumper julia vanishes Long May She Rain, The Girl at Midnight, Glitter, Shatter, My Lady Jane, The Brilliant Death, The, in, the That Inevitable, why can't I say it, That Inevitable Victorian Thing, A Man is So Discreet, World of Ink and Shadow, and Etiquette and espionage and curtsies conspiracies and waistcoats and weapon weaponry. I can't say that right either. Okay, so this is my manga shelf. And we're gonna start up here. Ignore these pins. These pins don't really need to be up here. So first up we have, I guess you could say, my vampire shelf. I do, okay, these two are for a manga, not for non-manga, um, not for manga readers. These aren't from, like, a manga at all. These are, these are from the Akatar series. But I needed something to sit at the end because they would fall over if I didn't. So we have volumes 1 through 19 of Vampire Night. Not gonna pull them out because as you can see, I have stuff on top. Then we got volumes 1 through 13 of Sir Vamp. Okay, so this is my next shelf, which holds all my BL and the little I have of Yuri. So we got Kaneki up here. I'm gonna put him away. Got my Kindle. And one of my throwing knives. And then back here, I have another knife. <laughs> and something a friend gave to me. So up here we have these Japanese books. Tokyo Ghoul and Sword Art Online. And if you're hearing anything in the background, sorry. Uh, someone's playing their phone rudely in the background. <laughs> Then we've got June Pride, which is a, a BL. And down here we have Plum Crazy, Tales of a Tiger Striped Cat, Volumes 1 through 4. We got Fire in His Fingertips, Volume 1, Seven Days, Monday and Sunday. Jackass, Secret XXX, Therapy Game, 
volumes 1 and 2 and I just found out that they're doing another in the series called like I think it's called Therapy Restart so super excited for that then we got 10 count volumes 1 through 6 then we have Escape Journey volume 1 through 3 Love and Limbo volume 1 and 2 Coyote volume 1 and 2 Birds of, the F of a Feather volume 1 I Married My Best Friend to Shut My Parents Up after Hours, Volume 1 through 3, and finally, My Androgynous Boyfriends, Volume 1 and 2. Okay, so we're going to first start off in this middle over here. So we got Bleach, Volume 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then it goes up to here. So 10 and some volumes skip, all the way down to 30. These are X Library editions, so like these two editions right here, you can tell they are very rough and they're very sticky from the library tape residue. So I may end up just getting the box set and getting rid of these if it's possible. Like if I can actually sell them. Okay, so down here we have Naruto 29, 39, 41, 42, 44, and 49. Then we got plus Animia, volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I mean, not 8, just 7, I need to get volume 2. This is an interesting series. I don't know if people, like, have, like, actually read this. <laughs> then up here we have After School Nightmare, volumes 1 through 4, and it's been a minute since I've read these, but these should be a transgender person. Or they're gender fluid, one of them. It, as I said, it's been a minute since I read them, and I don't know if it's uh, accurate the way it's written. I don't know. Then we got Hibiki's Magic Volumes 2, 1 and 2. Oh, and I forgot up here we have um, these Naruto play cards that my friend gave me. Okay, so since this is at the bottom, I can't put it on a tripod. Oh, you could, it would just be tilted like that. Anyway, first up we have Versailles of the Dead, Volumes 1 and 2, A Magical Girl Apocalypse, Volume 1 and 5, Wolf Spring, Volume 2, and Beast Stars, Volume 1. And then we have Blackbird, Volumes 1 through 5. Sadly, I do not own the last three, but I have read them. Then we have... Black Butler. I don't know which volumes are those are. I'm bad at Roman numbers. Then we got Blue Exorcist Volume 1, Death Note Volume 7 and 10, Pandora's Heart 3, and Fairy Tales Volume 4 and 6. Then up here we have Attack on Titan Volume 1, the Before the Fall, and then the regular Attack on Titans with Volumes 1, 2, 5, 6, and 9. Then we got uh, the Japanese version and then the Japanese uh, manga came with this print and just uh, other oh also came with this booklet thing and these aren't from anime those are from and then we have my tarot cards which these are the ones that usually use the most these are Sailor Moon and these are just cats okay so with this um, this is on my dresser drawer we're gonna start with this, and then go with this, and there's some stuff up there, but I'll talk about it once, you know, I'm done, or once I get there, and then we're gonna end off with this, actually, no, technically, we are gonna end off with this section, we're gonna start over here, this is, a. Uh, these books are basically, like, my, uh, like, my fairy books, we got the Iron Legends over here, the Iron King, the Iron Queen, the Iron Daughter, the Iron Knight, the Lost Prince, the Iron Trader, the Iron Warrior, which I hate that this is like shorter than the rest, I don't understand. Now since this does face towards the sunlight, I do have some serious sun damage on the pages. <laughs> um, then we got Need, Captivate, Entice, and Endure. And then on top, it's like pins. I'm not gonna take them down. I, over here, I do have a Funko Pop. Then over here, uh, this is like I'm selling all this stuff. 
here we have the Lunar Chronicles. These are the these like alternate covers that I got that really don't match up the spines, but you know, I got Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, and Winter, and the alternate cover, the new covers, Cinder. And I do have all these sign. We got stars above for Fairest, Wires and Nerves, and then volume two gone rogue. And over here we have the Sandcastle Empire, which is an all crate book. Ever the Hunted, Loki, the Bone Crier well, the Bone Crier's Moon, and the Bird and the Blade. And then over here, um Yes, you can see this, but these are hold on. These are like alternate jackets that haven't gotten on my books yet. Over here, okay, so we continue to carry on. And then Wayward Sun, the Poppy War, the Crown's Game, the Crown's Fate. Then we have more alternate jackets. These are basically, okay, this is Thorn of Glass, that is Thorn of Glass, that is Thorn of Glass, and underneath that is Akatar. So I'm gonna quickly take these off. And then we have uh, the coloring books of Akatar, Throne of Glass, Immortal Instruments, and the Luna Chronicles. And then we got a bunch of junk here. We got Funko Pops um, by 3DS and Railer DS and that. This is actually a thing where I can press on my books to show a press in thing saying Kaylee's library or something like that, but I haven't used it. And then down here we got my two clue games, um, Game of Thrones and, well, that fandom. We got the Queen's Blood, Reluctant Queen, and the Queen of Sorrows. Then we got Tiger's Curse, Tiger's Quest, Tiger's Voyage, and Tiger's Destiny. Then we got the Wizard's First Rule, The Sight, Fell, Afterworlds, The Shallow Graves, The Diviners, A Discovery of Witches, Shadow of Night, The Last Magician, Orphan Monster, The Dark Days Club, and Gunslinger. And then up here we got Women of God, Because You Love to Hate Me, and we got Dead Beautiful, and Rooms. And up here we have The Lost Queen, Mistborn, The Bells, Alice in Zombieland, Through the Zombie Glass, The Queen of Zombie Hearts, A Mad Zombie Party, Dread Nation, White Stag, The Beckoning Shadow, and then up here we have The Tiger's Daughter, and then obviously the Lux series, The Witch Hunter, The Kingslayer, Exquisite Captive, Blood Passage, Freedom Slave, Traders Game, Grey Wolf Island, Everland, Umberland, Sisters Red, Unhooked, Never World Wake, Zodiac Legacy, The Scorpio Races, I Was Here, The Last Time We Say Goodbye, and The Hunt. Oh, I forgot. Up here we have another one called Dark Souls. Now, above this, um, if you're sensitive to, um, seeing Harry Potter things, then I suggest to not watch this part, but if you're not and interested in my Harry Potter collection, then keep watching, and I will put a stamp right now of where to skip to. Okay, so this is my Harry Potter collection. I will be moving. It is a lot, so we're... And I'm just... Sh I'm not gonna pull out all the trinkets for this since I have too many. So yeah, I'm just showing the books. I mean, I do have my Ravenclaw stuff up here, but we, yeah, we got the first book. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter, uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban. And then we have uh, Harry Potter Journey Through a History of Magic, Hogwarts, a Cinematic Yearbook, and then we got years one through three of Harry Potter, oh, and four. Why did I? I don't know. One, one through four. So yeah, the Sorcerer's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, and Goblin of Fire. And then up here are my Lady Tower. So underneath the pins, I have the first book, 
And I think this is... Get the third book, the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And over here we have Harry Potter, the Cursed Child, Harry Potter's Cookbook, Harry Potter Character Compendium, and the unofficial Ultimate Harry Potter Spellbook, and the Tales of the Beetle of the Bard. Okay, so sadly this is going to be at an angle. Grim, which holds a whole bunch of short stories in here. We got Survive the Night, The Merciless, The Merciless 2, The Merciless 3, and The Merciless 4. Then we got Feed, Deadline, and Blackout. One of my favorite zombie series, trilogy. Up here we got Maximum Ride Volumes 1 through 9. And then we got The Lightning Thief in the Sea of Monsters. And then we got Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment, Maximum Ride, School's Out Forever, Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports, The Final Warning, Max, Fang, Angel, Nevermore, and Maximum Ride Forever. And over here is my Roman type novels. The Shards of Heaven, The Gates of Hell, The Realms of God, Blood and Sand, and The Valiant. Then I have the stack of white books. We got The Black Tattoo, Thirst Numbers 1 through 3, which holds at least, I think, two books per book. We got The Fallen, which also holds two books in a book, and Number two as well, holds two books in one book, and similar to these right here. So we got Fearless and Fearless 2. And last up, we have my graphic novels. Originally, something else used to be here, like these Roman type novels, but since I moved my manga to my small shelf, I couldn't fit my graphic novels with my manga, so I put my graphic novels here, slash comics. So we got The Walking Dead volumes 1, 2, 3, I mean, volumes 1, 2, 8, 15. And then we got Fence, volumes 1 through 3. And then we got Life is Strange, which I have two copies of the first one. On I got I got the extra one on accident. And then we got two and three. And we got Under the Moon, A Catwoman Tale, Bloom, Knights of Ashira, volumes one and two. And these aren't graphic novels, but I decided to put them here because you know it's by the same author. Is <laughs> Captive Prince and Prince's Gambit by C.S. Picat. We got. A coffee and a campfire mug with like all my pin backing cards. Well, not all of them, but half of them. This is my guest uh, bedroom shelf. Yes, it is Boeing. Trust me, the further they look down, it's. I'm surprised the shelf is still uh, staying strong. But it is rainbow themed. And don't mind though, those books I'm those books I'm selling. Trying to anyway. So let's start all the way up at the tip top. So these books are sort of miscellaneous. Uh, they really don't stay with like one color. They're sort of just like multiple colors. So we got Obsidio by Amy and Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. We got Alienated and Invaded by Melissa Landers, Zodiac. And then the second book, Wandering Star, Girl Made of Stars, uh, Nowhere But Here, To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Laura Jean, which is by Jenny Han. Beautiful covers, by the way. Then we got I Believe in a Thing Called Love, The Unexpected Everything, and Stay Sweet. Got Burn for Burn, for burn Fire with Fire, Ashes to Ashes. American Royals, The Problem of Forever, Somewhere Only We Know, The Way You Make Me Feel, Super Fake, One Small Thing, Fangirl, and this is, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it starts turning pink, so I guess you could say the, the formation of pink transfers into red. So yeah, okay, uh, Fangirl, The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein, Anna and the French Kiss, The Beautiful Broken Girls, and Meddling Kids. Which if you, oh, I'm gonna pull out this cover because it's a stunning cover. If you're, you like, you know, Scooby-Doo, this is basically like fan fiction of Scooby-Doo, as adults. 
So first up we got Vampire Academy and Spirit Bound. As I said, since this is colored, everything's out of order. You know, this is the first book and this is probably, I don't know, from a, no, uh, later in the series, I don't know. Asunder, The Space Between, In Her Skin, Shatter, Shatter the Suns, This Mortal Coil, Blood Rose, Aftermath, Sky Key, and Crash Into You. And you have Firefight, The Afterlife of Holly Chase, Perfect, The Knife of Never Letting Go, Elite, and Minutes. I'm super excited for when this becomes uh, a movie. I mean, it is becoming a movie, but it's not out yet. Allegiant, Illuminae, Crazy Rich Asians, The Bargaining, Missing, Aurora Burning, Gur Girl Online, Going Solo, Monsters of Men, The Lone Boy Next Door, Endless, End of Days, Betrayals, and Reckoning. This is my orange, I mean red to orange shelf. And then we go from yellow to green. So we got The Forgotten, The Forgetting, Endgame, Rise, The Female, The Species, The Nowhere Girls. I mean, these aren't exactly yellow, but I, yeah, I decided to put them in here anyway. Ghost of the Machine, The Crossbones, Isla and the Happily Ever After, Scarlet, Epstein, Hates It Here, Linger, Fragments of the Floss, Insurgent, Insurgent Collector's Edition, Since You've Been Gone, After the Woods, What Waits in the Woods, Blood Promise, Shades of Earth, Wolf Spain, and then Rich People Problems. So starting off here, the green turns into turquoise and then blue. So we got Infinite, Eliza and Her Monsters, Fangirl, Infinite Again, <laughs> When It's Real, America Panda, Elect, This Adventure Ends, The Ask and the Answer, The Last Confessions of Autumn Casterly. My camera's not crooked, it's just, as I said, it's Boeing. Genuine Fraud, Shiver, The Princess and the Fangirl, A Million Sons from Twinkle, Twinkle with Love. Gemina, Rift, Ava, Hope, Chaos of Standing Still, Made You Up, and Defiance. And then up here we have China Rich Girlfriend. Then the blue continues over here to go into purple. And Blaze, The Interney Cure, Salvage, Raised by Wolves. Then goes Carve the Mark, World After. It's up there, which is Broken Things, Black Ice, The Creeping, What We Saw. Renegades, Arch Enemies, and Supernova. Ship It, Last Star Burning, For The Empress, Strange Angels, uh, Frostbite, Mirage, and The Stars Never Rise. We got The Forever Song, Shadow Kiss, Victoria, Hero, Entice, Embrace, Skyward, The Amateurs, Zenith, and Memento, which I still have to read. Got that with my pre-order or something? I can't remember. The Ever After, The Way I Used to Be, Aurora Rising, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding, Jealousy, Mirage, Snake Root, Geekerella, Girl Online on Tour, Across the Universe, and Honor Among Thieves. Uh, my tripod cannot fit down here. So we got Nightshade, and it suddenly goes to white, which is matched, cross, reach. City of Bones, Twisted Palace, Broken Prince, Paper Princess, Air, Fallen Air, Cracked Kingdom, and then, okay, I fixed it. So yeah, Ugly's Pretty Specials and Extras. Then we got Dating You, Hating You, and We Stay. Then over here we have the white edition of the Twilight Saga with The Second Life of Brie Tanner. The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one. Here we have Missy coming in, chilling. Oh, my battery's about to run out, so I need to quickly do this. What are you doing? Hmm? So we got Pushing the Limits, The Lovely Reckless, War Cross, One of Us is Lying, Dead Girl Society, Sadie, Be Not Far From Me, The Darkest Mine, This Darkness Mine, Violent Ends, The Diabolic. Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, Flawed, The Rogue, The Ambassador's Man Mission. And that is my 
colorful shelf. Over here we have this, I mean, it's supposed to be a TV mount, but I put this there instead. I did have my books arranged to where like my uh, my TBR faced out, the spine did, and then my reading, the pages faced in, but I never changed it. I think this is Want, Replica, Scythe, Children of Eden, and Elites of Eden. So oh, I'm gonna have to hold my camera for this one. But these are like my black spines to my silverish spines. We got the girl who was supposed to die the night she disappeared. Of metal and wishes of dream and rust. Sisters of blood and spirit, sublime, the wicker king, wild card, empress of a thousand skies. Everyone's an alien when an alien, when you're an alien too. Fallen in love, unforgiven, passion, torment, and fallen. Starlight, starflight, and starfall. We got schiz Schizo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Little Monsters, All the Rage, got uh, Asylum, Sanctum, and Catacomb. Kissing in America, Moxie, Wink Poppy, Midnight, Heart of Iron, Avalon, Insurgent, The Princess Saves Herself in this one, The Thousandth Floor, and The uh, Square Root of Summer, Unbroken, The Haunting, Hill the Haunting of Hill House, Widdedorm. There's someone inside your house. This is where it ends. Panic. The power. Vampire Diaries. I don't want to read the small details. Titles, I mean. Real. Milk and Honey. Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries. More Vampire Diaries. The Outliers. Dare You to Steal Heart. The Knowing. The Placement. Divergent. Dawn. Misfit. Uh... What is that? Angel? Angel Fall? The Immortal Rules? Archon and ca Cabinet? And Last Sacrifice? I do want to show uh, a book that I forgot to put on my other bookshelf. It's To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paulini. This is supposed to be in my, on my black bookshelf. And I s forgot to put this on my bookshelf as well when I recorded the shelf tour, but girl online. So those were my books. If you stayed this long, congratulations. I guess you were interested in my collection. Comment, subscribe, like, hit the bell notification to be notified when a new video comes up. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.